Uh, Orlando. Orlando. It's the first time call out of South Carolina. Orlando, welcome to the call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? All is well. How are you? I'm well. I hope you and the puppet are doing well today. Thanks. Um, yeah, the puppet is fine. He has a nice shirt Dana. today. <laughs> with uh, with with everything that's going on with that wall, with the with that big beautiful wall. Yes. And uh, the great white hope, and the way you you talk about them. You know, I, I'm Mexican. I, I speak no Spanish, so of course I still get all the the looks, the and the uh, and the. the the hate looks when I when I speak the truth or my truth, which I don't feel is just mine. I feel it's a lot of others as well. So you believe but you have your own truth? I wouldn't say it's my own truth. I would say it's truth because I, that, when I was when, when I was waiting on the phone, I, I heard that question: there, your your own truth. And I'm trying to figure out what does he mean by that? Yeah, and that's I'm my thinking, biblical well, question. Do you believe your truth is your own? Actually, I don't. I believe that truth that I believe in, a lot of other people have the same views. And where do you get... So you don't believe your truth is your own? Not my own. I don't believe I follow anybody, but I believe my beliefs fall in line with others. All right. I appreciate that. But go ahead. You want to make another point. Finish your point. Well, with the... with the, uh, But on that question, I will finish that point. On that question, uh, my own truth... Let me ask you that. I'd turn that same question to you. I'm sorry? I would turn that same question to you. What question? The, do you believe your own truth? Do you believe that that is your own truth? I'll respond to it on Sunday because uh, during the week, I like to hear from people about these biblical questions because the purpose of the biblical questions is uh, to get people to think for themselves to to make sure they know what they know they know they know and that what they believe is right or not uh, and not because someone said it but because they can see for themselves that's why i ask these questions okay well and i thank you for that because it's one one thing when you said biblical question i didn't know it was because i don't attend church regularly in fact i've probably only been once in my life are you a christian but um, that's, uh, that's, that's another thing is being a military brat, I've never been to, you know, we've never had one, uh, we, we, we weren't, I wouldn't say we weren't taught. It was just something that wasn't ever brought up was religion. So are you a Christian? So when, it com- when it comes to Christian Baptist or, you know, uh, uh, all these, you know, different sects, I, I don't, I, I don't really, I, I just say, I believe in my own God. I know I, I don't believe in what most people believe in or what, you know, I don't follow their gods. But the reason I say that is because I don't believe that, you know, who's to say whose God is right. You've got Buddha, you've got uh, God, you've got, uh, you know, Jehovah, you've got, the, you know, the Muhammad and all that stuff. And when did Buddha so, become a God? I, I see that's one thing I'm I'm very lacking in. So you can get me all day on that, on religion. Well, I don't I, know. So are you a Christian, Orlando? To be honest, I'm very ignorant when it comes to that. So I wouldn't, I, I, I don't know exactly the Christian views. Are you, you know, a Christian? I, don't wanna, I would have to say yes. <laughs> exactly, see? So you say yes, you are a Christian? I would I, I would just say I would follow in lines with it. One last time, are I mean, you a Christian? What is a Christian? Are you a Christian? You're going to catch me on this. Yes, I'm a Christian then. <laughs> amazing. See, 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 amazing. See, 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 you got me on that. But I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I'm not too. Educated with the with the church, with the church lingo, I should say. How old are you, Orlando? Orlando? 48. 48 years old. Amazing. Are you married with kids? Uh, single. Um, I have three kids. We're separated. We've been separated for about seven years. You, you, um, you were married at one time? Yes. Oh. And... 
in South Carolina now came from D.C. being an army ter- uh, army brat. And why did you? In Germany, why California. did you and your wife divorce? It had a lot to do with uh, lies and drinking on her part. Yo, I mean, I was right there with her. I was right there along lines with the drinking, but I have stopped the drinking. I don't drink anymore. So who was lying and drinking, you or your wife? Uh, she she still lies and drinks. <laughs> she still does that. I don't I, I, I don't believe in lying. I don't believe in uh, drinking anymore. That's just one thing I don't. I mean, I, I was bad. We were drinking a gallon of vodka a day. Whoa. Mama Mia. Yeah. So how are your kids yeah, doing? We, I have a 26-year-old still at home. A boy or girl? He, boy. I have three boys. And the, and the other two, how are they doing? Uh, my uh, 17-year-old is in Florida with my parents, and then I have a 29-year-old that's uh, here in South Carolina as well who hates me. He said he can't wait uh, till I die so he can come piss on my grave. Wow. And... How do you feel about that? I don't like it, but I don't try and push my points to him. I don't. I don't even. Uh, I think the last time I talked to him was about three years ago. Why? Um, why does he hate you so much? Because he believes his mom. He, uh, uh, he listens to his mother. His mother's. Uh, she's back in Maryland. That's where we moved from, Silver Spring, Maryland, and uh, she's. She she's. She's taught them how to lie very good. Instead of growing up kids, yeah, she grew up friends. Amazing. And why is a twenty six year old still living with? Is she, is he living with your ex wife? He's living with me. He lived with you. He's with, yeah. And he why is he? Me. Why he still living there? Uh, oh wow, that's a good one. Um, because of certain situations he's got himself into. He's uh, may not be on the right side of the fence. He might not be on the right side of the fence. Yeah, well, what, what do you mean? mean? Is there some uh, maybe the drinking or drugs or whatever it is? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Well, I, I guess I do know. It's just some certain things he chooses to do that has put him in this situation where he can't move forward. You like, like to talk about how. How what well, honors classes he was in and stuff like that, but that was was. Where are you going with it? And how's your son? So you, uh, are you saying he's on drugs and he can't move out? Yes. Oh, and how's your son that lived in Florida with Grandma? How's he doing? He's doing well. How he's, old is he? Uh, uh, Seventeen. And he's doing well. He's doing very well. He had to get out of here because of our drinking and things that we did. Uh, he got taken away from us. That was my main reason for stop drinking. And so and I did things picked up, but it didn't pick up as well as I thought. It took me a while to get off the drinking. So what's wrong with you that your life is so messed up and it messed up all your children? I think it was... Uh, her because she don't let anything die out. She still talks to him. She still tries to, uh, like my 17 year old, I haven't spoken to him in about four years. It's because I don't push. I I'll wait for them to grow up and see, you know, open their eyes and see what the truth is. But she still talks to him on a regular basis and fills their heads with lies still. And they believe this from a drunk. And so the one that's, uh, don't, uh, uh, that haven't talked to the other one that want to pee on your grave. How old is he? 29. Amazing. So have you apologized to them for l- not being the right kind of a man, right kind of father for them? No, I have not. Why not? They won't give me the chance. They won't talk to you at all? No, no, they won't. How, give how me about the one that lived my... with you? Have you apologized to him? No, but when I do text I, I, I text, call, him and speak to my parents regularly, and uh, I tell them all the time, let him know this or let him know this, but I don't I don't push myself on him like his mom does. You need to apo- I, do what you want, but you, I recommend you apologize for letting him down. Is that something you think I should call him and do that? Yes. 
Well, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, let me ask you one more th- one more thing, real quick. Yeah. With your with 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 you talking about the Great White Hope and all that, and in L.A., what kind of uh, I know on the radio, I hear a lot of people against you. Hold so, on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Back in a moment, folks. Hold on, Orlando. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. 